Thank you very much for joining me this morning. My name is Ari. I'm a Partner Account Manager here at StorageCraft Asia Pacific. And thank you very much for, for attending this webinar. So what we're going to be discussing today is how to perform my granular recovery of Microsoft Exchange servers using our granular recovery for Exchange tool. So let's talk about Exchange first off. Um, it can easily be considered one of the most critical servers to any business. And the ability to back it up and recover items from these exchange servers can be quite challenging for these businesses, especially small to medium-sized ones. This is why um, to us and to everyone out there, it's very important to have that solution that enables you to recover and restore from exchange in a manner that's uh, ultra-fast and efficient and also works every time. So this is where Granny Recovery for Exchange comes in, or GRE. Uh, it's a complete exchange recovery solution which enables you to recover individual mail items, uh, including emails, calendar items, contacts, and tasks, as well as enabling you to do um, full mailbox recovery and migrations. And to top it all off with our latest version, we allow users to perform full exchange migrations in a fraction of the time that it would take you with any other solution. It's now compatible with all versions of Exchange, including Exchange 2003, 2007, 2010, and 2013. And the migration between any or all of these versions can be done directly from one Exchange server to another, simply performing a drag and drop onto a new Exchange server. So without further ado, I'm going to get started with the demonstration. So the first thing we need to do is we need to have access to the EDB, or the Exchange database, of the server that we'd like to recover the items from. So I'm going to go into Windows Explorer, go into my Backup and Disaster Recovery Drive, go into our GRE data. I'm going to open up the 2007 backup, right click that and I'm going to mount it. Now the reason we have to go through the full mounting process is so I can first of all assign it a certain drive letter. In this case I'm going to assign it as the M drive for mail and I'm going to allow rights to this backup as well. So I'm going to mount this image. It should only take us a couple of seconds. And now that we're in here, you can see that I can go into the XData folder, and there is my mailbox database right there. As you can see, it's been nice and cleanly backed up along with the log files and with the checkpoint file as well to ensure that um, it's definitely a backup that we can use. So I'm surely going to get out of this, but of course the image is going to remain mounted so we can see that Exchange database. And now I'm going to open up the Granular Recovery for Exchange console so we can interrogate that, uh, that database that we've mounted. So as you can see here, Granular Recovery for Exchange, like most, uh, like in fact all the storage craft uh, solutions that are out there, has a very clean and simple layout, very easy to understand. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the source file, which is the Exchange database we're going to be restoring from. I'm going to browse out along my network to our Exchange mounted image go into X data and select our mailbox database. I'm also going to browse out sorry, for the associated log files, which in this case are also contained within this backup within the X data folder. Um, I don't need an STM file. I will attempt to skip the ADB recover and repair just to save us some time. And as you can see in a matter of seconds, we have the Exchange database fully mounted and ready to go. It'll show you all the different mailboxes you have and whatever's contained within these mailboxes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the Tiger file, which is where we're going to be restoring to. Like in most scenarios, resellers and end users would be performing the recovery to an exchange server. Um, so you can put the server name and the, and the credentials in there, for example, and you can recover any of these old messages and just drag them right into a live exchange server into someone else's inbox. Because I'm performing this demo, of course, from the head office, I'm not going to interfere with our Exchange server. So for this demo, I'm purely going to create a new PST file and work with that. So I'm going to call it restored for this PST file. And I'm going to include this in our backup and disaster recovery appliance, nice and neatly in my PST file folder. Open that up. And there you have it. So now we have the source located, we have the target located, we can now perform a restore. 
So in this case, let's say that I'm looking for an email regarding an invoice that was deleted from an inbox. I'm going to go back to the last backup of the Exchange server where I think that, that message might be. I'm going to do exactly what we've done here, mount the image and uh, select the target and the source. Now, say for example this was in the administrator's mailbox, I'm going to click the administrator mailbox and up here I have my search function. So this includes a basic search to search for a word, for a word pretty much anywhere or I can utilize the advanced search functionality to search for words in the body, in the subject line from, to, etc. I can also search for an attachment name in these emails as well if I'd like to. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to search for invoice and hit the search button and it should only take a few seconds for us to go through the entire administrator mailbox, search for the word invoice in the body of the messages and we will be able to take a look at these emails in this um, source location. So now it's completed, you'll see that all the search results are neatly stored in this little folder. And from here we can actually locate these emails. Over here it gives you the name of the email, who it was sent to, who it was sent from, the date, the time. We can go through all these emails. And let's say for example I would like to recover all these emails to my PSP file. I can, I can drag and drop them in any way that I please. If for this case, I would like to create a folder within the inbox called Restored. Save. And all I need to do to recover all of these emails over here is to do a simple drag and drop. And remember, if this was a live exchange server, it would be doing exactly the same thing. You can create a folder within any mailbox that is active and you can do that uh, restore. As you can see, it's processed nine items in only about a second. So it's really, really fast. And of course, if, if for example I just wanted to recover this entire mailbox, I can just do a simple drag and drop down here as well. I'm going to restore this to the inbox on the PST file and it shouldn't take much longer to actually perform that because the solution, it's really fast, really simple, really easy to use. Six seconds it took us. Now of course, one of the features of this latest version of Granular Recovery for Exchange, which is invaluable, is that you can actually use it to perform full exchange migrations quickly and easily. This can be done from one server to an ex another exchange server, of course, between exchange versions. However, because I am using a PST in this demonstration, I can't actually demonstrate an ADB drag and drop, but you can certainly accomplish that um, so long as you're dragging it from one exchange server to another. And as previously mentioned, GRE is compatible with all versions of Exchange and it can go directly from 2003, for example, to 2013. Because I know with a lot of solutions, you might have to go a step up from 2003 first and then go to 2013, but with GRE version A, that is not the case. So, that's pretty much everything in, in what the actual solution can do. You can see it's, it's delivered exactly what we've promised it would. You can perform the individual mailbox item recovery, including emails, calendar items, contacts and tasks. You can restore the entire mailbox. And if you're going from Exchange Server to Exchange Server, of course you can perform a full migration. Um, now I'll come to the licensing aspect of it because we've recently had a few innovations with the licensing that's quite handy. Of course there's the Shadow Protect Granular Recovery for Exchange, which will work from the Exchange databases which have been backed up by Shadow Protect. We now also have a version of Granular Recovery for Exchange that will work on an Exchange database that's been backed up by any other competitive technology. So with our Shadow um, Storage Craft Image Manager, sorry, our Storage Craft Granular Recovery for Exchange direct to EDB, it means that you can utilize any EDB backed up by any other technology and it will perform the migration for you. You can also now purchase project licenses as well for GRE migrations. So if, for example, you just have a one-off server migration coming up or if you or your client don't have GRE and you really need to perform an urgent recovery or an urgent migration, you can actually get your hands on a 60-day license now for those short-term usages, which is very handy. And now what we've also, we've also done is we've um, taken our IT edition, which is our USB drive that can perform full backups of an unlimited amount of servers and we've actually added the GRE functionality to it in creating the granular recovery for exchange 
uh, IT Edition Pro. So what that will allow you to do is not only will it allow you to back up as many servers as you like, but you can actually perform exchange migrations of as many exchange servers and EDBs as you like. So if you perform a high level of uh, GRE or, or exchange migrations, uh, if you do that a fair while, then investing in the Granular Recovery for Exchange and the IT Edition Pro would definitely be worth your while because you, you pay for a subscription and you can do as many backups as you like, as many restores as you like, recoveries, migrations. It's definitely a very compelling solution. So as you can see, we've been very flexible with the licensing and uh, the solution is very cost effective as well. So basically, to summarize, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the key points. The Granular Recovery for Exchange technology, which we've gone over today, it's a complete solution. It enables you to recover individual mail items, including emails, calendar items, contacts and tasks, as well as enabling full mailbox recovery and migration. And to top it off, of course, you can perform full exchange migrations between any and all versions of Exchange. Excellent. Well, that's pretty much everything. Thank you very much for attending the webinar today. I hope you got a lot out of it. And if you have any further questions, please uh, give us a call on the sales line or shoot us through an email. Thank you very much.